Hi. <clears throat> right, a, a quickie this one, a Sunday. Wet the paper. Just going to a, a, a memory of the Wandle, my, my local river. Oh. Chalk Stream, sorry Chalk Stream, it's, it's the correct title. It's more than a stream, especially when it when there's a lot of rain. It runs into the Thames, it, it stretches for about 16 miles and rises, we believe, in the Surrey Hills Caterham. I think, not sure, but it certainly goes through Croydon. It gets bigger and bigger as it goes through Carshalton, Wallington, Beddington Park. Quite a few tributaries to it, that's the word. It ends up in the Thames and it's, it's a very lovely little river to have in suburbia, surrounded by buildings and so on. Right, uh, Burn Sienna. Light in the sky, I'm painting the sky that's about outside my my window. A grey day, grey day in January. Um, ultra green and light red for the clouds. Light clouds. Bit bitty. Right, okay, so we've got the light split in the middle there. Put in some background some trees in the distance, same colour but just a little bit. When your brush splits, just dip it in some water in the water and just bring it back. So we'll just bit of yellow, why not? I was just trying to get the clumps of bristles together, but you need a bit more water than that. I was thinking earlier, when I started doing watercolours, it took me quite a time to, to do anything reasonable. and I did three and, and joined a local art group, Castle from Warrington Art Group. And I thought the watercolours I did were quite good, but I have seen them since. I don't know where they are at the moment, but they merge. Time to time, and I look at them, I think, oh dear, oh dear, how bad. If they'd have judged me on the rubbish I did then, which I thought was good, they would never have let me into the art club. But the thing is, it's not what you do now, if you're a beginner, it's what you do in 10 years' time, provided you don't quit, of course. If you persevere with painting, you'll get better. You might not be as good as some, or you'll be better than others. But you won't stand still, that's for sure. You, you will progress. Right, so we'll put some uh, warmer tree trees in. I'm using just blue, yellow and burnt sienna. Some warm, warm a bit of a bank here. Get some nice shadow. Bring that up there. One darker 
shadows in here. Lots of trees on the banks. They're, they're being cut down a lot of them. I've been the river up and they're altering the flow, trying to make it more speedy. Right, now we'll, we'll do the other side. We'll put that maybe in a bit more shadow, so dark, a bit darker. My problem here is try not to make the left look the same as the right so I can put in some rocks if I wanted to. There aren't any on the wandle, but <coughs> but then I'm just making this up as a as a quickie, as a quick impression. I'll put in a couple of rocks. Why not? Now it's taking dry brush, I can just put in some extra. <coughs> oh, I seem to have lost my plastic cards. Okay, I'll just recut the paper. Get uh, these little bit of detail in the foreground here. Let's just. I do like doing this. No, let's just. By the time I pull in the hard branches, trunks, things that will that will go back somewhat. Let's just put some in there. Let's put some in here as well. <coughs> okay. I, I'm going to just put in a bit of bit of dry brush here across this. Water. Okay, just a bit up there. Fine. I've got a bit more reflection to put in there. The, I'm using lemon yellow. Just put something. I just close that bank at the end there a little bit.
Right, we'll uh, rigger now. And I'll cover up some of the scraping out, put them back a bit further. Just the blue and the uh, burnt sienna. I did something like this, for, oh, this is going back to my previous conversation for the art club, but some might think I haven't improved at all, but oops. Oh, a bit of interesting texture. Impressionist. Right uh, now, with a small brush, I can find one. I'll use this big one. I'll just get that to dry, just hold on to your ears. <coughs> right. A bit of, bit of burnt here. So I'm using uh, lemon yellow, uh, burnt sienna, ultramarine, and light red. Hello Freddy, my pussycat has come to say hello. Aren't you Freddy? Hello. Well, say hello to the people. It's growing. If I put a little figure in here. Legs on it, bit of a head. Okay, that just gives a little bit of a focus to it. Now it's just a quick one to show you how, how quickly you can create an impression in watercolour. Just what, 15, 20 minutes? I did one yesterday which had buildings in. It was uh, worked up from a painting by Sego, Edward Sego, who lived in Norfolk, lived and worked in Norfolk. He was a war artist. He went to America and he specialised in animal portraits of people, rich people's horses and things. 
he went on the Royal Yacht Britannia in the 50s with Prince Philip, who wanted to learn to paint from the master. But he gave up, he just sat, stood behind him and just watched Edward Seagull paint. Falkland Islands, Georgia, Antarctica. An amazing artist. Let's put in some, some little reeds. I need to show. I do. A bird, why not? I do. Right, let's bring them out and have a look at it. To see what we've done. Blue mounts, which is appropriate because there's a lot of blue in there. There we are, just a little, uh, just a little demonstration of, of an impression of my local river, which we bike along once a week if we can, if the weather's good enough. It's quite muddy along the paths. There are paths along here, cycle paths and so on, but I, I leave those out. I just like to put in this foliage. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little, uh, little minnow. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll just move you around a bit. So you can have a look. Square on. Or square on. Zoom in. Oops, zoom out. I will show you the figure. The figure was done very, very quickly. That's all it is. Red anorak and a sea of green and blue. So I'll put these... Oh, hello, Freddy. Oh, look, there he is. Hello, Freddy. Say hello to the people. Oops. Ah. He's on the Zoom, he's... Uh, I'll show you him. He's a lovely little kid, and he's a bit mischievous. Oh, he's drinking my water that's got acrylic. Come on. I used that to wash my brushes. Anyway, that was Freddy. He's taking umbrage now. Right, I'll see you, see you in a week. Bye-bye.